to halftime. Welcome back, everybody. Was 10 0 in Pittsburgh, now 17 13 Tennessee at the half. For the first time in four weeks, no quarterback had a six touchdown pass game so far. Big Ben, uh, three and two weeks ago, Aaron Rodgers last week. But don't worry, Rodgers and the Packers were still lighting the proverbial lamp at Lambeau Field. A week after torching the Bears, 55-14, yesterday they lambasted the Eagles, 53-20. Wasn't all Rodgers, though. He threw three touchdown passes, and his mates contributed a punt return, an interception return, and a fumble return uh, for a touchdown. Green Bay has scored the most points in football, and they're 5-0 at Lambeau, winning those games by an average of 27 points. But the real headliner, back-to-back games of 50 points or more. Not that they're trying to run up the score for the old-time college football top 20 polls. I mean, Rodgers grabs the ball cap for the fourth quarter. But duly noted is the Packers are only the fifth team to go 50 points back-to-back in NFL history. Yesterday, Houston defeated Cleveland as defensive end J.J. Watt scored on a touchdown pass, had three tackles for loss, a sack, forced fumble, and recovered fumble. Add up what he's done all season, two touchdown catches, he's a defensive end, of course, interception return for a touchdown, fumble return for a touchdown. He's only the second ever to do so. The first was in 1938. What is the pride of Wisconsin? One of them. Saturday, of course, in Madison, Badger running back Melvin Gordon ran for a college FBS record 408 yards, breaking the old mark of 406 by LaDainian Tomlinson. Fourth on that list, all-time, Marshall Falk. Congrats to Gordon and all those who blocked for him, including fullback Derek White. Yep, J.J.'s younger brother. It's quite a weekend to be a cheesehead. Here's 